there is a magic word that you can use to get what you want from people. Mm -hmm. Well, this is according to a new study from psychologist Elizabeth Stoko. She's a professor, and she says here she specializes in conversational analysis, recording and transcribing everyday verbal exchanges to try and understand their linguistic and social components. So in a recent presentation, she explained a common pattern that she noticed throughout her research. So she noticed that when she frames a question, and let's say I were to say to you, Grace, do you want to hang out later? No. Okay. So she noticed if you directly get turned down, but then if you follow it, so first you have to get turned down, just like Grace did. Like I just did. Say it again. No, okay? I don't want to hang out with you. So then if you follow it up with a, so Grace, are you willing to hang out later? I mean, fine. Like I'm, <laughs> I'm yeah. And that's what happens. Thoughts, five words or less. My magic word, Selena Gomez. <laughs> kind of manipulative. But also cool. I was gonna, I was gonna test it out. And I was gonna ask Grace, "Are you willing to get a drink?" But you already took that. <laughs> that was my try. I was like, Grace, you can ask her again. You willing to get a drink? <laughs> no. We'll be using this. I'm adopting this. Mm. Yeah. One hundred percent. It made a lot of sense actually reading this through. You mm -hmm. know, because just uh, pressure, peer the, pressure. The, it it really is. Pressure. is yeah. Are you willing? Because then it makes it seem sort of like you know, gun to your head, would yeah. you do this for me? Like you might yeah. not want to, but if it was a life or death situation. Yeah, do you have the will within you? It does say <laughs> something about your character. <laughs> it, does. it does. Do you literally, do you have the will within your soul <laughs> it's very to true. go and do this thing <laughs> You're for right. me? It's the psychology of words. Yeah. It's like yeah. if my mom was like, do you want to go and do the dishes for me? I'd be like, why would I want to do the dishes? You've seen the Vince Vaughn skit yeah. and breakup? Like, yeah. why do I want to want to do the dishes? But if you were to pose that question, are you willing to go and do the dishes? You'd be like, I can do the dishes. Yeah. I've got the dishes. <laughs> I'm ready. I have that in It's me. true. It's interesting. And she also talked about using the word please. And she said that that doesn't, of course, you can get a lot more. What is that saying when you say you can attract a lot more uh, bees with honey? Mm -hmm. So it's always nice to use things like please and thank you. But she said right. if you really want to get somebody to do something, it's it's first, you want you don't want to do it off the bat. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't just right off the bat say, hey, are you willing to hang out with me later? It doesn't work that way. Yeah. And You've got to be turned down first. Yeah. I, okay. I definitely agree with that because if you open with are you willing, it kind of seems like you are already expecting them to be contrarian. Yeah. Yes. You yeah. know, if you're saying like, are you, well, are you willing to, you know, postpone the staff meeting? Are you willing to yeah. get this email out by the end of today? It's like, I mean, yeah. Like, why did, why are you upset with me? Why are we fighting? Yep. So it really <laughs> does only work as... I think a response to a no. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I think yeah. I'm gonna start doing this and see what. I'm gonna the... start doing it. Yeah, I want to yeah. see what happens. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna but be I... texting all my friends. Like, are you willing to? <laughs> are you willing? My... Yeah, I would encourage guys. <laughs> are you willing to like me back? <laughs> yeah, true. I was literally. Like, I would encourage guys who's gonna try and pick up girls in the bar not to start with this because guys go. Are you willing to go? <laughs> yes. Me? Willing? Yeah, you're like, right. Wait. <laughs> Actually, that this is interesting when you bring up dating dynamics. Yeah. I don't know if any of this works when you're trying to approach someone in a romantic sense. This seems to be very professional. I don't know. No, well, she said it, it could way. be strangers. She gave a lot of mm. different. She gave a lot of different con, uh, social um, environments that you could use it in. Okay, but think about this, Sam. You're at a, you're single. You're at a bar. A guy comes up to you. He says. Would you please let me get you a drink? That is already weird. <laughs> That's you know it's already a little bit too much. Like, would you please, like, please? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, but what if I haven't talked to a woman in years? years? What if he's please. just like, can I buy you a drink? And I'm like, no, I'm cool. Are, are you, you willing? willing to yeah, you're to right. Let, it's weird. It's, I think that's really weird. Yeah. yeah. Are I'd you be willing? Like, what's like, wrong with you? Yeah. What is at stake for you right now? Is there someone watching <laughs> us? Like, why do we? Why do we need to get this? Yeah. It feels together? like a very high. What do you know? It feels like a very high stakes question, and yeah. I think that's what she said too. Like when 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 you meet a stranger, and let's say you need your car to be jumped, if you were to like, hey, you know, would you jump my car? And they're like, oh man, I'm busy. Oh come on, man, please. Will, are you willing to do that for me? Then they'll uh, feel like shit. I'm ready to do it. I'm already got my stuff ready yeah, to jump my car. Are you ready to go jump my car? <laughs> oh my okay. gosh. I yeah. feel like somebody used that on me to jump their car. Oh, yeah? What? Okay, this was like they read her control. study. No, literally, this was like three months ago. But I was parking at Starbucks and I, at, like leaving Starbucks, I was going back to my car. I had like a tray. I had everyone's drinks. I was being like the drink runner. Mm -hmm. And 
this guy was sitting next to me and his hood was up and he was like, hey, like, would you jump, like, would you let help? And I was like, I don't know anyone. Like, I'm a girl by myself. Like, you're a random man. Like, so I was like, I really, and he was like, are you like willing to please do this for me? And I was like, yeah. He <laughs> I sat just there for like read 45 the study. minutes. And it worked. Yeah, and I jumped his, well, he did all the work. Yeah, but I was, I, say, I was like, do you have a skill that we definitely <laughs> should have covered in your interview? Yeah. Are you a mechanic? <laughs> no, he like had all the cables and things. Like, cables, where did this come Grace, from? and like a positive no, and Grace, negative. Come on. Oh, I couldn't do it. Have you jumped the car before. No, I've never jumped a car. I've never changed a tire. Me I'm unaware. I gotta teach you. Those are things that you need, you need to, know, to know. Both of you. Know. My I just call, those you are so important to know those things. <laughs> but if you do put the, the, the clamps on the different side, it can yeah. it can be pretty bad. Really? Well, you have to make yeah, sure. That's why sure one's red one's and one's black. Blue. But come on. We just that one, one time. We're dealing with a specific situation. You just said you didn't change the One time, my before. car battery died, and I um a, a, about a week later, I was like, "It's time to get a new car." You <laughs> jump it! <laughs> oh my god! Well, I don't even know fairness. what to say. We gotta go. Okay, okay I've been driving I for like a new one car year. Anyway. And okay. I Thank Shut you. Up. Thank you. And she's 17, Grace. Hope you feel good about yourself. I'm not. I'm not proud of myself, Sam. You of all people should know that by now. You just channeled your mom's voice. Yeah. All right. We gotta go. Big round of applause for Elise, yeah. everybody. Thank you so much, guys. It was so fun. Loved having you. And we'll see you guys all next time on Pop Triggers.